Oh, I know. Somebody that thinks you're cute from the park. I started noticing like little details with certain people. To win her heart over. I knew I had it. I'm, a, I'm the tallest and according to myself, the most handsome on the team. If you had, who would it be? Like if you were, now that you know them, if you could choose your main again, who would it be? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I used to make slime, and then one time I got stuck in my cousin's hair and I got in trouble, and I got banned for making slime. Hey guys, I'm Jocelyn, and this is my Quince Diaries. My mom had told me, we can give you money, you can go on a trip, you have a Quince or you can have a car. I'm eventually gonna get a car, and I felt that at a sweet 16, or a Quince, I feel like that's like a one in a lifetime experience. I feel like being a girl is like part of like experiencing that, so I just really wanted my sweet 16. My vision going into it, I didn't want it to be like bright. There's a lot of things that I know I don't want, but I feel like if you ask me like, oh, so then what do you want? I'm just be like, I don't know. Like, I just know I don't want that though. So we're gonna do the main vals. I expect you guys to know it. I know we practiced it only last time, but I expect it to be as perfect as possible. Okay. Hey, everybody watch the video. Yes, ma'am. Well, we're gonna see right now. Let's go, ready? I would say I'm very kind. Um, I feel like I'm very easy going, very easy to talk to. I'm very friendly too. I feel like I don't struggle talking or meeting new people either. Out, and in, ready. Reason is that? No, you guys go out, spin in, so out, slide over. In, ready. out, six, in, out, spin and spin in. in. Yeah, you spin into him and then you spin out. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to run boys. My mom did. I wanted to have my friends. I wanted to ask my guy friends. Because I was like, my guy friends are gonna make this fun for me. Like, but then my mom was like, no, like you know how to dance, you have experience, you're, and we're paying over like this amount of money, and just for you to like let it go to waste and like look back on the videos and you not like it, like no. So that's when she found Orozco Vaz, and she was like, we're gonna rent these boys and you're gonna dance with them. And I was like, okay, like we'll do what you say. And then we rented boys. I feel like if you don't throw her up in the air enough she's not going anywhere because if they don't lock out their arm, she's gonna stay like right here, like really low. And that's not super bad. And also you have to jump a lot. <laughs> yeah, just make sure we throw her high. Like that's my favorite part. Like if they hurt does not fly up and down, they're not doing it right. Six, seven, and we're going down. Throw her. Okay, make sure you do their hurt a little bit lower. One more time. We all had quinceañeras and we wanted this magical moment and we get to create that for every single girl every weekend. And I feel like this one makes it a little bit more special. We all have a special part in our business. Obviously, we are a woman-owned business. We're three sisters. We're all about women and empowering them. So within ourselves, I think we empower each other, first of all. We have rented chambalanes higher than the Golden Boys. They're the best. I think my boys bring it all. Like, they have it all. Like, they're great dancers, they're strong, they have great character. They're cute, uh, they're strong, they're the best of the best. So, you see how she's gonna do it, but she's gonna lean forward. So she's gonna lean her body forward, and they throw her. Okay. So you lean your body forward with it. Okay. okay. Seeing the process is what made me love doing what I do. Like, when you start with just an A count, and then out of nowhere, it's just this whole like production that we end up doing that I always love how like it always turns out with the boys. Can they do it on me? Please? Okay, show look at Alex, go. Yes, bro. Oh, this is up. Yes. <sighs> Ready? Seven, and we go. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that is what you're not supposed to do. Yeah! It took a lot to, for me to trust them. Not knowing who these people are, I feel like it's like, okay, well, I'm trusting you with everything right now because if I break an arm, if I break a leg, if I hurt myself, I'm going to have a cast and I'm going to look not good on the day of my 16 and I'm going to blame you and I'm not going to like you. Ready? Seven and we go forward. There you go. There you go. Okay, perfect. Bring her down. There you go. I feel like it takes a lot of yourself to be able to trust them, but I feel like once you have that level of trust with them, I feel like you're like, okay, well, this is easy and I can do this. Don't let go of him, because you know how mad that makes me mad. Ready, six, <laughs> seven, and we're going up, down, go up. What the? Up, <laughs> down, we go up, we come down, and go up. 
something that does make our team different, I think, is our tricks. We do some crazy things out there. Hey, we go up and hold it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Throw up five, hold six, triple seven. Hey, we're walking ready for the floor. To make it look effortlessly is what, I, what I'm looking for. So sometimes I'm like, hey, do it this way. But maybe that's not the way that it's gonna work until you're, and you're not gonna know until you try it. So it's, you're always gonna see the fails because it's so you find the way that works for you. Six, and she dances with Marvin right there. Ready? Going one, two, three, carry her. Five, six, seven, and we're going. Keep your feet straight. I was talking to someone, but we had stopped, and um, it didn't necessarily hurt. But I felt like after that one specific guy, I was like, I don't want to deal with guys anymore. I don't want to talk to any of them. So if you see when, you car when he carries her, point your feet down. He spins her, and her feet go right behind him. You see? Oh, that's because she, she wraps her legs. I know, that's what I'm telling her. So just bring your feet down, and think of going down instead of um, bringing him to the side. Try it real quick. Just let's see how your footwork goes. Ready, seven, and we go. Open, open, open. There you go. I was single for a good majority of time until um, we started core practices and I started noticing like little details with certain people. It was your fault. What? It was your fault. My fault? You were doing the wrong, wrong hand. Aren't you like supposed to know this stuff? Don't you get paid? I didn't watch the video. Um, Guys, I didn't watch the video. That sounds like the first, yeah I did. So I had drive. Marvin is a good dancer, but there would be moments where he would like forget steps and I felt like I was just like, you do this professionally, shouldn't you know what you're doing right now? La fe, dude. What happened to your jeans? Mine don't have stains. Mine don't have stains. I'm Marvin, I'm 16, and I love to dance. She has a great personality, she has a great sense of humor, she's funny, kind, caring, yeah. I'm going to drop you now from in front of my pants. <laughs> you can't even carry me as is. I liked her for Marvin, but then I saw that she liked Alex. So I kind of was like, damn, did I make a mistake? That is not a cartwheel. That is a roll. I didn't roll. say I was going to do a cartwheel. I can do that too. Do it. Watch, watch this. You can see Alex. My name is Alex, I'm 15, and I'm, a, I'm the tallest and, according to myself, the most handsome on the team. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And we spin, yeah! Oh, five. He said, yeah! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's good, it's good, it's good she actually did it right. Jocelyn, she's a really fun, kind person, girl, a girl, I guess. It was fun and pretty cool being around her, being able to dance with her. She can be pretty sarcastic at times, but it's funny because I'm also sarcastic, so. Just makes everything funnier. How tall are you? Six two? Six three? I'm like six. I'm like six foot. Like six foot, six foot. Yeah. Shoes on. Probably. I knew I had it to win her heart over. Like yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have a girlfriend. No, I'm, I'm single. Dude, read up. Look at this. I'm, I have something that Marvin doesn't have—a natural curl. <laughs> Like, let's say they're talking in the beginning of rehearsals and then out of nowhere, like, they just ghost each other. That's awkward, like, for everyone, not just for us, but for the quinceanera, for the boys. Oh, I know somebody that thinks you're cute before. Huh? The boys? Whoa, the couple, no? Yeah, they always be talking about you. Yeah, couple think you're cute. Is that what you? Ask me. Oh, <laughs> let me know. She's not like $5. <laughs> I'll charge you. I was getting told things from of the girls, and I was also getting told things from my sisters. Who is your least favorite? My least favorite? <laughs> I'm gonna say Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I know he has a girlfriend. Oh. Yeah, that's why. Oh, that's a good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Because I know he has a girlfriend, so I'm not gonna like. The funniest is title. Yeah. He is pretty funny. I'm able to tell who people like, but this one was hard. This one was hard. I was confused. Uh, two more minutes. That. Wait, who do you like? No, she likes Alex more. You we can switch. I know that they both have feelings and I wouldn't want any of them to get hurt. It, it's hard to see one get chosen and not the other. Like honestly, honestly, like if you had to, 
who would it be? Like if you were, now that you know them, if you could choose your main again, who would it be? I feel like naturally, like as a person, you're gonna be attracted to certain different people. And I feel like that's okay, but I feel like as long as you're choosing that one person, I feel like no one else really matters, even though they might have been attractive. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember, if you want to be featured on Quinta Diaries, the link is down below.